Hi right, guys, today I wanted to talk about paint size matching and uh, underboring and, and overboring. So um, we're going to be using uh, Empire Barrel. Uh, it's called a Freak Kit, uh, which is basically an oversized barrel that accepts those inserts. And the inserts are the same diam all the same diameter on the outside, but the diameter of the insert on the inside is different, and it's uh, printed right on the insert itself. So. Uh, this one is 690. What well, that means, it's 0.69 inches in inches uh, uh, in diameter on the inside. So this one is 695, and this one is 685. So, and I'm going to show you how to properly match the paint balls to your barrel so that uh, your gun shoots accurately and efficiently, and it doesn't doesn't waste any air, and also that you don't have uh, paintball breaks inside your barrel. So. Uh, uh, our under boring, you can just just guess by its name is where you use the bar you pick the barrel that's the inside diameter of the barrel is same or slightly smaller than the di outside diameter of the paintball, so the paintball fits snugly in the barrel. And over boring is when you pick a barrel that's uh, quite large. So this would be a case of over boring. Um, well, we're going to start with uh, 690, 685, and 695 inserts. So uh, the first thing you should do if you're if you have uh, you know if you're playing woods ball or rec ball, uh, you should get a set of barrels with. Uh, you can get a free kit if you have 200 bucks. If you don't have a lot of money, you can buy a bunch of used barrels and uh, make sure that the inside diameter uh, goes from. Uh, I recommend f uh, from 685 to 693 with uh, 0.5 or 0.3 increments if you can afford it. So you'll have 693, 690, and so on. Uh, uh, for this test, we're gonna be using 695 uh, as a first insert. So the first thing you do when you show up at the field is uh, buy a bag of paint and then let it sit outside or whatever environment you're gonna be playing in. Uh, open the bag and let it sit there for 5-10 minutes uh, before the game. This allows the balls to expand in case they were stored in a cool location and now you brought them to a warm, moist location, they're going to swell up slightly. Um, even though it might not make sense because you'd think if you, when you buy paint, you immediately put it in your hopper and go out and, and pods and go out into the field. Well, you don't immediately shoot out all of your paint. You're still going to be running around in the field for a little bit of time, so the paint will swell up in your pods and it will swell up in your hopper. So uh, to properly do the boring test, you must let the bag sit open for a little bit to come to a resting size where it doesn't change anymore. So um, I'm gonna be using this, uh, it's a mid-grade mid paint, it's not really uh, high end, no, but neither is this really crappy, but it's, it's okay paint, I guess. So uh, we'll start with 695 inserts. So you, you come to the field, you open the bag, you let the bag sit outside for a little bit. And then you grab 10 random balls from the bag and uh, you grab your barrel. Well, in this case, we'll, we'll use a 695 size barrel. And you put the balls in and you see if they roll out. And you do it with every single one, not just the first one. If your hands are sweaty, make sure you wipe your hands before you touch the paint balls. So, and you do every single one. And you want basically, so see this one, this one is stuck uh, despite the fact that Others easily made it through this barrel. So I'm gonna push that out. So you want 80% uh, of paint balls to roll out to achieve overboring. So 80, 90, so nine out of 10. So, okay, so we can see all of these paint balls roll out. So now that I handle these paint balls, uh, there is a little bit of moisture in them from my hand. So I'm gonna put those back in my hopper and I'm gonna grab another 10 from the bag. For this test, I'm gonna be reusing those just so that I don't have to touch any more paint balls out of the bag. So 695 barrel is not really suitable. It's, it's gonna be not very air efficient because par the air partially will, will, will uh, basically escape around the ball. You can see there's quite a big gap between the barrel and the ball. So uh, your gun, you'll have to crank up the velocity setting on your paintball gun to be able to achieve your field maximum speed uh, with this particular paint, with this particular inserts. And this is basically an example of over overboring. The, the benefit of overboring is that you probably won't have any barrel breaks for the duration of the game. Um, and also uh, your gun will shoot a little bit, this is kind of gray area, but it'll shoot slightly more accurate than if you underbore. Because 
uh, there is very little friction between the paint uh, paintball and the insert or the barrel uh, so there's no chance of paintball start walking on one side as a barrel because it's you know it's not perfectly spherical obviously and uh, uh, basically the barrel is uh, imparting some sort of a spin on the ball and when the ball comes out of the barrel it'll have some sort of you know random direction kind of really slow rotation uh, you want the paintball to come out perfectly still and that will give you accuracy so overboring the benefit is uh, slightly better accuracy and no barrel breaks so uh, but air efficiency suffers so we're gonna go to 690 and we're gonna do the same test so 690 is a little bit tighter but still not good enough to be called under boring so uh, you can see this this paintball here is stuck and you have to do all 10 and like I said I do recommend you grab a different 10 paintballs uh, from your bag instead of reusing the same ones because as you handle them they're gonna start swelling up from from the heat from your hands and from the moisture from your hands I'm reusing the same 10 just so they don't have to touch the rest so 690 it seems to be a good match um, you know it's a kind of happy medium you're not going to have any barrel breaks with 690 and they seem to have a pretty nice fit but it's still not good enough you still um, your air efficiency is not going to be ideal so we're going to go to 685 okay so at 685 we can see pretty firm fit okay so you should be able to the ball should if you're under boring the ball the ball should stick in the insert and but you should be able to blow it out using your mouth uh, pretty easy so um, this this is a good match if this is a good quality paint um, you know this is what you would want to use you want to use a 685 insert for this case so again every time you do a test it was a new barrel with a smaller or bigger size uh, start from the largest go to the smallest if you're under boring obviously and uh, make sure that you don't handle the same paint balls for every test so once you do the, run the test 10 balls from one size put them in the bag or your hopper preferably your hopper and then grab more from the bag and do another test uh, through your barrels or your inserts so 685 is ideal so what are the benefits of under boring well the benefits are uh, you're getting the maximum air efficiency meaning there's almost no air escaping around the paint ball through the barrel and um, the downside is depending on the finish of your barrel you can have conditions where uh, again because of the defects of the paintball because it's not perfectly round uh, the paintball will be walking on the barrel one, basically one side of it will be uh, rubbing against the barrel and uh, as the paintball comes out of the barrel you'll, ha you'll have a slight spin and the slight spin will ruin your accuracy so when you're under boring especially with severe under boring uh, you're deforming the paintball you have increased chance of barrel breaks because if you get that one paintball out of the bag that's significantly bigger than the rest and that's why you do 10 and not one like a lot of kids do in the fields uh, your your paintball will basically get stuck about here and then as the blast of air hits it it's just going to explode and you're going to have a barrel break so um, uh, the pros and cons of under boring is pros are better air efficiency the cons you can have more barrel, barrel breaks especially uh, sorry about that especially if it's a uh, uh, brittle paint and uh, your accuracy might suffer if the finish of the barrel is not ideal and I'll show you something about freak inserts before you go and blow 200 bucks on those I want you to listen to something so I'm gonna grab uh, 690 for this test I'm gonna use an Allen wrench I'm gonna insert it and drag it on the inside surface okay so you can hear what this is is the sound comes from the grooves uh, the circular grooves like this inside uh, this insert because when this insert is manufactured there's a cutting tool that goes around and bores it out to a certain size and uh, this tool is cutting the, what's called tooling marks on the inside and the tooling marks they're basically they're almost like sandpaper so as your paintball is flying through this insert part of it's are basic parts of the paintball are getting stuck on the walls because uh, it's rubbing against the grooves so uh, these inserts are not ideal uh, you can you can find I heard the stainless steel ones uh, have much much better finish so um, 
you know, I do recommend that you get, uh, if you do get the free kit, um, you get stainless steel inserts for it <clears throat> because they have better finish or, or you can just not buy free kit at all and just buy a bunch of barrels with different sizes. So, but again, remember the, the trick is let the paint sit when you come to the field in an open bag for a little bit and then use 10 balls and not one or two to test the, the barrel size to match the paint to your barrel. Start with the largest and keep going down until you have a case where eight, at least eight out of 10 get stuck in the barrel uh, and uh, they are snug enough that you can, they don't roll out, but uh, you can blow them out easily by just blowing into the barrel um, but not like that you have to exert you know huge effort to blow it out because if it if it's too fit if it's too snug it's gonna blow up when you fire so and uh, then it's gonna ruin your game that's it on under boring over boring see ya